You're bringing the rom-com back. It is a massive hit. It keeps breaking records. I, I had to Google that one, Jimmy. So yeah, the record that anyone but you broke is that it is now the highest grossing William Shakespeare adaptation. I know what you're thinking. What art thou speaketh? Tis true. Yeah, so apparently it was loosely based on much to do about nothing. Sure. That was in Screen Rant's article. Um, some of the other milestones that they point out, these are real. And it won't be you, is Sydney Sweeney's most profitable movie in a leading role. Okay. And it won't be you, Valentine Encore, pushes domestic box office total past 85 million. Cool. Wow. That's pretty uh, incredible. Yeah, record breaking, I think. Yeah, sure. People <laughs> love the rom com. You brought it back. Oh my God. You have helped bring the rom com I back. Know. I know. It's been kind of crazy, right? Yeah, thank you. You crushed I'm it. I'm just so thankful that everybody's loving it. This, and I made this up. <laughs> See if you like this. No one but you two, hmm? Praise. It's kind of like Robert Downey Jr. No white man had ever been charming in a superhero movie before. Level of praise. Yeah, nobody really expected that. I feel like uh, everybody's kind of surprised around it. We knew we made a great movie, and we knew we just didn't know it was going to take fire like it did. But it's been it's been a, a roller coaster, but it's been really wonderful. At the Screen Actors Guild Awards on Saturday, Glenn told Variety that he and Sydney are going to try to position themselves as the new Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan, or George Clooney and Julia Roberts. You know, they made that rom-com Ticket Paradise, you know, in fall 2022 that made $168 million worldwide. Oh, we're not going to talk about that? Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. You know, that's the plan. It's like when you find somebody that you really jive with and, and, and who, I mean, Sydney is so easy to work with and so fun. I mean, we're definitely trying to find the next thing. We're just, we're just, please send us all the scripts you got. You know, we're here for it. I'm very cautious about these two at this point, but it's not a bad idea. Like, franchise yourselves. Like, right now, you're worth more together than you are apart. Sydney reads everything, by the way, and in record time, she's... The fastest reader I think I've ever, ever met. Uh, it takes me a little longer. Uh, but we're reading everything and, and just trying to see what, what makes sense, what we can turn into something that audiences are going to respond to. So I guess Sydney read everything, and she decided, meh. So when found last night, she thought, let's just stick with this franchise. You think fans are hoping for a sequel. Do you think that maybe we'll, we'll see a sequel? Maybe, like... A high nine chance. Ooh, really? It worked? Oh! So I think we have our meta plot for the sequel. Sydney wants to stick with Ben and B, and Glenn wants to stick together playing other characters. What do you think? Um, I mean, they're going to do a sequel to Anyone But You, for sure. Sony will do that, and that's the for sure thing. Um, and they'll still do other projects separately. Glenn already shot Twisters, and that movie's a disaster to me without Helen Hunt. And Top Gun 3 is coming, apparently, and it's Sydney, I think it's still on Euphoria, right? Yeah. So yeah, I think it's a smart idea for them to do some projects together. Like, yeah, kind of Ryan Gosling and Emma Stone do that a little bit. And Sandra Bullock almost reunited with Ryan Reynolds for The Last City, those plans fell through and Channing Tatum stepped in and the movie made $105 million domestically and $192 million worldwide in March 2022. But we're not talking about that movie either, no. So what should Glenn and Sydney do? Sequel or new material?